Hello, what is up everybody? R L 57 here back with yet another diecast car video as always. And in today's video, we will be checking out this uh, new special Pagani Huayra R in Bianco Beni. And this is from Tarmac Works and also collaboration with the Lamley Group. So on the top of the box, we sort of have this um, or brownish yellow color quite dark here sort of like a blonde color I guess uh, like a dark blonde sort of color and then you have a white at the bottom of course you have the uh, color of the car which is Bianco Beni uh, also known as sort of like a metallic white sort of color uh, you have the car illustration on the side right here as including this one as well over here it says Quaira R, which is a nice touch. And then moving to the top of the box, we have Global 64, which is nice. And moving down, oh sorry, to the back. Okay, here we have a very nice sort of detailed um, illustration where it shows the side of the car and then shows in a bit of the details of the side, the front side, the um, middle part of the car, and also near the bottom left of the car where it shows the Italian flag which is very nice and then uh, it says Tarmac right here as well and moving down to the bottom of the box Tarmac works, Tarmac for good, 164 scale, Pagani Huayra R, Bianco Beni and there is the barcode if you need it, made in China so if you're wondering where did I get this basically um, I would like to thank 2 Monster Shop for uh, sponsoring this car and also this video so yeah thank you so much to monster shop and you can get your own Pagani Huayra R from of course the two monster shop um, basically store in Tamarind Square Cyberjaya or you can buy it from their TikTok page or TikTok shop uh, you can buy it there as well or from their Shopee page as well if you do want to find it or if you are living overseas or anything you can buy it from the Tarmac Works website depending whether it's still available or not and I guess without further ado let's go ahead and unbox the Pagani Huayra R okay. now of course you might be thinking did I get a chase of course not I mean look at looking at it already if it were to be in sort of like that Zamac sort of grayish color, hold on, before I bring in the turntable, look at the detail of the car, very very nice, love the color, that is so nice, just look at the trim of white and sort of goldish brown on that car, that is just wild. Here we have the Pagani Huayra R colored in Bianco Benny as what's stated on the box and just look how gorgeous this is on the turntable looks very fresh very nice just an amazing color choice for the car well obviously it needs to be in white as it's more to a Lamley group sort of theme where of course um, yeah normally Lamley group cars would be in sort of like that white uh, ish color tone where it's very very nice uh, I really do recommend these Lamley Group cars but it depends because sometimes it might be hard to get especially nowadays uh, people are offering uh, other brands besides uh, Hot Wheels Matchbox Major Rate basically and um, basically in conjunction with that it's uh, very very cool to see Tarmac Works releasing more and more products such as this, uh, other Global 64s, um, Hobby 64s, those are great hits as well. And I guess if I'm not mistaken, it should be um, Hobby, uh, no, sorry. Uh, I think it should be Hobby 64 Plus if I'm not mistaken. And um, looking at the details of this car already is very, very cool to see in terms of basically a hyper car like this is more to a hyper track focused race car sort of theme sort of a car and um, looking at it yeah it is very nice now you might be wondering have I ever had a Pagani Huayra R? No uh, not even Hot Wheels if I'm not mistaken I've never 
bought a Pagani Huayra R uh, no matter it's from the Hot Wheels or maybe uh, other brands maybe like Tarmac Works I've never bought it before and this is the first time uh, I'm having it in the Tarmac Works uh, brand basically and uh, this is not the first time it has been released it has released previously in sort of like a dark blue color with the green and blue was it green and blue box if i'm not mistaken and then it first launched in sort of like a metallic black sort of color if i'm not mistaken it should be a nero color if i'm not mistaken n-e-r-o uh if i'm not mistaken nero means black if i'm not mistaken so i think it's sh it should be in a color which is uh, i believe black and sort of some uh gold not gold but more to like um oh, sorry the blister fell down um yellowish sort of uh, color but still it looks pretty great not nonetheless and i think the white one looks even better if you ask me personally um let's actually take a closer look at the pagani waira r now basically this Waira R is just like a Zonda R basically. It's long, it's um, aerodynamic basically. It has its own functions when it comes to these uh, race cars, especially they're trying to get it as uh, aerodynamic as possible, of course for less drag and all basically. And from the side of the car, you already can see that uh, how I related it with the Pagani Zonda R and yeah you can clearly tell it kind of looks like it obviously nonetheless and we'll start off from the side here we do have these black dot rims which are um, 5 10 10 spoke rims colored in sort of these um, this black color I think um, regular um, tire size I believe um, the uh, rubber tires right here which are very cool that's all for the rims and then we'll talk about the design of the car basically starting from the bottom right here you do have the italian flag where it has the red white and green right there on the side which is a neat little detail which is nice very nice see it says pagani huayra uh, sorry not pagani but huayra r on the side which is cool a uh, neat little detail and then for the doors, we have the number one on the side, um, which is just a circle and the number one in the middle, which is actually pretty cool. Love the color on that. It's very, very nice. And then um, what else? You do have the blacked out side mirror, which I believe should be uh, rubber. Yeah, it is rubber side mirrors, which is cool. Colored in black. Let's move on to the front. Now the front might remind you of the Pagani Zonda R already as it does kind of look like it already as you can see. Uh, we'll start off from the headlights right here. So lensed headlights of course with some uh, black trim uh, on, the, on the headlights of it of course. And then you have some detail here on the hood as well including the number one right here on the right side of the car. And also this um, uh, sort of a goldish, I mean yellowish brown um, like stripe right here in the middle, which is cool. And then for the front right here, you do have some extra canards right here on the front. You do have the massive front grille and then you have the uh, extended front bumper of course, um, which is very, very cool. Now, uh, it's very nice looking at the front. It reminds me of the Zonda R, but still, it's very nice. Um, blacked out interior, regular windshield tint. Um, the dashboard is, I believe, colored in black and also plastic, which is very nice. And then uh, moving to the roof. Blacked out roof, just that you have like a simple little trim of the sort of like yellowish gold or brown color right here uh, from the roof towards the back which is actually pretty cool and um, here is the other side pretty similar but nothing much of a change which is still very very cool I like it and then let's move on to the back so you do have the rear spoiler right here 
um, which is uh, supported by these two on the side right here on each side nothing on the middle basically it's uh, it's of course to um, basically get aerodynamics for, from the car basically you know so on the spoiler right here it has the Pagani logo right there as well then let's move on to the back of the car where we do have the rear lights on the car you have these massive diffusers right here at the back some red trim all over the place and then you have the quad exhaust tips at the back right here which consists of four exhaust tips and you can see that there are details inside the spoiler so, sorry not the spoiler but at the rear bumper itself uh, next to the uh, exhaust uh, tips basically and um, yeah they look pretty good not gonna lie uh, Tarmac Works has done a pretty good job on this one and then let's move on to the back so, I mean the uh, here is the base so of course um, metal blacked out base says Tarmac Works Pagani Huayra are made in China so yeah, that's basically all for the Pagani Huayra R, which looks extremely gorgeous, colored in white. I just don't really know what uh, much else to say about this car. It's just, it's a perfect hypercar. Like, um, would you want to say it would be perfect in black? Yes. If it were to be in white, I would still say yes, but... Um, a color like this would be more suitable in its actual like real color of course but um, even though it's like um, flipped around here and there uh, the color tone of the car is basically now metallic white um, or Bianco Benny uh, Bianco Benny right yeah so you can't really like uh, relate with um, whether you would go for a blacked out uh, Pagani Huayra R or would you go for just a regular Pagani Huayra R who knows but um, it already looks as great as it is and uh, for a Lamley Group car this is gonna be quite a uh, fantastic model for you to collect other than the Mercedes SLS AMG colored in white um, what else the Dodge Challenger LB works if I'm not mistaken um, basically all of these Paganis they end up being really really good from when you would see it yourself it honestly looks pretty great nonetheless and overall I would say um, this Pagani Hoyer R is a pretty good deal if you ask me if you're gonna buy this car anyways and um, judging the fact by uh, basically the car is a Lamley Group Special Edition um, if you really do like to collect the Lamley Group Special Editions then uh, proceed to uh, continue your collecting journey and get this masterpiece um, If you are maybe a Pagani just a regular Pagani fan. Uh, I mean it's up to you basically uh, it's either you um, Get uh, Other than this car or basically just get the car and um, In conclusion you basically have everything and um, basically this Pagani Huayra R is just a wonderful model and uh, would I recommend it? Yeah, it is. Uh, I really do recommend it. Uh, it's a very nice, um, solid and also, um, well, kind, an, a, kind of a nice and um, great car to collect. And yeah, I guess that's all for today's video. Once again, I'd like to say thank you guys for watching. See my other videos, don't forget to leave, a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you soon, bye bye.